Christmas to our friend of a creative voice on. Happy holidays! <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Tomaso Cartia. I'm the editor in chief of Creative Voice On. And this is Daniela Pavan, business director and artistic director of Creative Voice On. And these are our two special friends for the holidays, our new contributors. <laughs> oh yeah, you're so cute! <laughs> and we're here to wish you happy holidays and a great 2021 full of health and hope. Absolutely, we all know that this has been such a very turbulent year for everyone, but we did face it uh, with creativity and resilience because as you guys know, we do believe that creativity will save us. And we are here also to uh, go back a little bit on what this 2020 was for us specifically of Creative Poison and to thank all of the extraordinary people that have been with us during this year and this incredible journey and all the artists that we had the chance and the honor to uh, encounter and they are part of the, the productions that you guys saw on our media and our channels. I'm here to conversate with my dear friend dear friend and partner, Daniela, about the highlights, what we love, what, what inspired us during this year, because actually, yes, it was very hard for everyone, but we actually did so many things as Creative Poisson, like even beyond our expectations, because really we, we could have not imagined that we would have been that active and that actually so many magical things could have happened for us. So, uh, Daniela, what were for you the highlights, the best moments creatively of this 2020? Okay, first of all, Tomas, I have to say this. The best thing ever that happened in 2020 was working together with you. You are oh, the best you. business partner <laughs> ever. And thank I'm you, really, really proud that we are on this adventure. I don't know what you're doing yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying. <laughs> no, I'm really me. Keep on going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy we are on this together. This Thank is you. an incredible journey that we are, uh, let's say, working on together. And creativity is really the main driver that is uh, leading us uh, to to create and innovate. I believe. So to get back to your question. Uh, it's kind of a difficult question, to be honest, because we met a lot of extra extraordinary people. And But I think that I really uh, enjoyed the conversation with Mr. Michael Apted, uh, right. you know, the award-winning director we had the chance to interview a year ago. And he was uh, very inspiring because um, it doesn't matter, um, you know, 
if uh, time passes and if life changes. What matters is what you want and keep the focus on uh, your dreams and on your goals and work to make them a reality and uh, somehow through his movies and through uh, his documentary in, in this case it was 63 up he shows how stories are ageless and stories are you know our core business and our uh, how to say that our core inspiration probably in life and at work so i think this interview was uh, was really great for, for for us and especially for me as a business person and uh, as a human being uh, then I really enjoyed uh, our conversation and our work with Grimanesa Amoros, one of the best light artists of the world. She uh, she is an inspiring businesswoman, in addition for be, uh, of being uh, an inspiring and great artist. And I got in love when she talked to, to us about um, uh, her romance with uh, the unknown. I think that this concept was, uh, was really great and I actually um, invite all our uh, listeners right now uh, and our friends here to uh, to, to, to go back to her interview on our Storytelier um, editorial project and on our Creative Poison podcast to mm -hmm. listen to her interview mm -hmm. and to get to know more about uh, this romance with the unknown concept. And then... Uh, Man, I also want to add about Grimaneza that it's one of my favorite memories is the event that she oh, yeah. worked at for Creative Poison at her magnificent studio in New York, of course, before COVID, but that Absolutely. was memorable, memorable. And thank you so much again, Grimaneza, for opening the doors of your yeah. studio to us. And it was also great, you know, a, a great way for her to share uh, more about uh, her heart with us. And yeah, that was definitely. Lovely. definitely. Her generosity, generosity. I agree. And then I really enjoyed our conversation with Rafik Anadol. Um, he is uh, a great, uh, a great mind um, because I think, uh, you know, I got intrigued by his way to create art from numbers. I, uh, I, I thought it was impossible to connect, uh, you know, art and the concept of something aesthetically beautiful with numbers, with something so logical, so pragmatic. Instead, Rafika Nadal uh, demonstrated us that it is possible. And uh, I mean, he did it through his interview with us and through also his uh, event and exhibition at the Art Tech House in Manhattan last year. And again, I invite you all to listen to his interview uh, on, uh, on our podcast show. So yeah, uh, these are my, my highlights. What about you, Tommaso? Well, I cannot mention, of course, coming from the point of view of a writer, the encounter with Miss Erica John. Of course, yes. that was so unexpected and unbelievable. And so for you guys, just for you guys to know, uh, we simply sent an email. I, I had no idea that she could have actually responded to the email, honestly. She invited us uh, to, her, in, to her apartment here in New York and we went there with our uh, you know, little equipment and she was so generous with us because she really spent you know, she spent time with us on camera and off camera. She showed us like her, I remember her library and she uh, really went into the depth of creative process and that was so special for me to hear and to be uh, at the pre in the presence of such a living legend. And, yeah. and she's also such a charismatic human being, such a fun human being. We had so much fun, it was light, and it was like really, really unforgettable. And yeah. then uh, I would mention... Yeah. If I right, can yeah. interrupt just for a sec, I think we met a lot of human, of living legends last year. I mean, this 2020 has been very challenging, but it gave us right. uh, um, the chance to 
uh, to to speak uh, uh, you know with a lot of interesting minds uh, very inspiring to give us i believe a lot of tools uh, to go through changes yeah. and yes. so in the line of great women uh, we i mean i have to mention the great, great, great Kayla Devion. She is uh, an actress and Broadway singer and playing currently, I mean, currently until unfortunately uh, Broadway shut down uh, this year, playing the role of Tina Turner in Tina uh, the Musical on Broadway. And she is a young talent. I am so happy that, again, sending just a little Instagram message we, and then magic happens sometimes. I think when it's destined, it's destined. Uh, she replied and we got the chance to uh, meet her, to interview her, and actually to host her later on our Hashtag Creativity Will Save Us show. She is a pure talent, a raw, pure talent. And in, an extraordinary voice that, uh, and an extraordinary actress, but also a very, very good person again. And uh, I think that she inspired me she is a very good role model for the new generation also upcoming that wants to be in the entertainment business because she does it the right way. She is spiritually centered and so, and, and, and she's really, when she speaks, she speaks from a place of purpose. So that's what I uh, really was very impactful for me to meet her. And then another great artist that I cannot not mention is of course Herman Cornejo, the principal dancer of the American Ballet Theater, who I had the chance actually to see on stage a couple of years ago. Everyone in the world of ballet and worldwide are praising him as one of the best talent of his generation. And we had the chance to, to meet him at our dearest et cetera, et cetera restaurant and uh, we interviewed him for our podcast show and then again we had the chance to have him on our uh, series hashtag creativity will save us and again another young talent but uh, that it's inspiring for the new generation so we hope that all uh, of, of the young kids following us can go and, and and listen to these interviews because really they give you like very great tools for your future so as for highlights but well, there are so so many others but of course uh, our, you know, our web series, Hashtag Creativity Will Save Us, was such a blessing. Uh, you know, me and Daniela, at the beginning of March, when the pandemic hit, we thought of producing something to be supportive for the artists that, uh, when all the venues were shutting down, and, and to uh, launch this message that creativity can save us, will save us, and that the, the shows will go on. And then at the beginning, we felt like maybe we'll have, uh, you know, one or two episodes, meaning like a couple of contributions. And then we ended up with 50 plus artists from all over the world, including big names like, I don't know, Lorenzo Supreme, for example, a big uh, sculptor and actor, and so, so many others. And, and so, yeah, I mean, like thinking back, I know it was very hard this year, but I thinking just about what we did makes me so very, very happy. And thank you, Daniela, for being the best partner ever in this journey. Yes. yes. Thank you. Well, I, I... That brings so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I believe that, uh, I mean, you know what, I'm really proud also of what, uh, what we, we've been able to do, thanks to the support of all the people who, who kept yes. following us. So, uh, yeah, in fact, we have a lot of people to, to thank this year, right, Mazo? We have a lot of people and uh, we're going to present to you our collaborators and contributors. So, starting from... David James Parr, a writer and contributor. Gila Clara Kesu, UNESCO's Artist for Peace, contributor on our Storytelier editorial project. And then we have Sabna Worth, again, contributor, and also the guiding voice of uh, Hashtag Creativity Will Save Us, the podcast version. Yes. And then, who, who else? And who then, else? yes. Thank you so much to Jada Joyce, our great graphic designer. Thank you to Alessandra Salerno, singer and songwriter. And thank you also for um, getting us the chance to, to have her faith within your hand song as a sound 
back for our hashtag creativity will save us project so grazie Alessandra grazie Ale we love you <laughs> and um, thank you so much also to Roberta Ario Zanor um, she's uh, one of our account manager and she's also a great project manager and social media manager. Thank you to Luca Marozzi, sales consultant. And thank you so much to Podcast Story, our podcast partner for Europe. Thank you to Heard City, uh, you know, Gloria Pitargoski um, and her team are the greatest studio ever in New York City. And uh, thank you also to Spreaker, recently acquired by iHeartMedia and uh, our partner for our podcast. And uh, thank you to Ruler Art Gallery. Art Gallery in New York City, uh, we are working with for, uh, or we used to work with uh, for our immersive storytelling uh, projects and we hope to uh, be able to reopen the doors of uh, immersive storytelling experiences uh, very, very soon. And thank Thank you so much also to Costanza Biasibetti, storyteller who uh, helped us a lot, especially in the immersive storytelling uh, process. Yes, and, then... and, I will, and I would also like to mention our more, more uh, recent uh, collaborators. Um, we've just, we just uh, start working on our uh, TV docuseries inspired by Hashtag Creative Will Save Us, uh, entitled Creative Voyagers. And we are uh, producing it with uh, a great uh, director, Stanley Isaacs, who is a Hollywood writer, director, and producer. And also uh, coadjuvated by uh, the wonderful uh, Ana Laura Di Lugo, a multimedia artist and creative consultant for the docu-series, because of course the docu-series is centered on, again, on creativity and how creativity can save us. Also, I would like to mention, you know, uh, on our podcast, we we weren't alone. We had uh, very special, yeah. yeah, that accompany us through uh, the seasons of our podcast show. So we say thank you to Mara de los Santos, digital strategist and model, to our Puya Moseni, actress and transgender activist, and to um, math teacher and great actor Jerry Campbell Clark. And yes. what else to say besides, again, wishing you happy holidays and the best for this upcoming year. Keep following us uh, online on our website at www.creativepoison without the final O. <laughs> <laughs> dot com and then on social media on facebook at creative poison and then on instagram at creative Poa, spelled p-o-y-s underscore on so o-n and uh, we hope uh, that next year will bring to the table a lot of health happiness and new projects for all of us and uh, we hope that we will reconnect soon on all the platforms uh, with uh, with a lot of warmth and smiles definitely and i like to say um the best is yet creatively to come so this was I nothing you think that this was something this was nothing compared to what we can do and i know that we will that we will so thank you again, everyone, and we'll see you next year. But keep on following your comments because there are some surprises coming up anyway. And last thing to say, as we always say, ready, ready set, imagine. Bye. Happy holidays.
your actions are consequences You are not the only one to hurry to make this change Be free, yeah Faith within your head